most of the times if you want to distort a test or you want to perspect it you would have to rasterize it that is the standard thing but in this video i'm going to show you how to do that without rasterizing it and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here can you hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so we are going to look at how to distort a test without rasterizing it now let's get into the video over here i have this written test here distort and then you can see that i can edit it right over here because it has not been rasterized now if you want to distort a test let's say you press ctrl t for the transformation and then you right click over here you see that distort and perspective and some other two stuff are not available over here that is because the test is not a layer yet it is just a normal layer like a layer but it has not been rasterized to a layer so if you go ahead and rasterize this type it is going to turn into a layer so you have it over here and now when you try to transform it and then you right click you see that the distort and then the perspective are available here so you can click on the distort and then you can distort it anyhow you want it like this that is very fine but a situation or the problem comes when in the middle of a project you are asked to edit this particular test that is distorted and that is a problem in fact it is a bigger problem so you will not be able to edit this particular distorted test now this is how you can do it if you want to edit it or if you want to make some changes in the future let's go back and then we have our test over here in one of my videos i talked about converting object to smart object if you want to edit it easily so you convert this test to smart objects basically it is a layer and it is a test again so what you do is you press ctrl t and then you can distort this particular test meanwhile you can edit it let's see how we distort and edit this so i open this and then i drag it around this area so it is being distorted like that now when i double click on this particular smart object icon over here that is the smart object thumbnail it is going to open another layer for me a very different one and then it shows this particular test that we have on the other part of the project so you select your test tool and let's say you want to edit that to a simple word like this so when you bring it inside over here like over here and then you press ctrl s it saves it to the other document and then when you come here it has been edited it is as simple as that so any word that you want to edit it just double click on it and then you go and then you change it as simple as that whenever you are done you just click save and then there you go it saves for you it is as simple as that so when it comes to just like this you can't edit it straight from here but you can edit it from the other side of the project i hope this was very helpful and if you liked watching this video these are many things that we do on this channel so if you are interested you might consider subscribing and i'll get back to you with another video it's innocent here bye